So therefore, therefore the Quran, the ants have produced the Quran because that. How do you roll that one out? That's just ridiculous. Like because paperboy, I have a gold bar. Okay, let me get the verse. Because if they and if if the ants are speaking Solomon, and it's in the Quran, Solomon spoke to the ant bowl. Yeah, Solomon never came to the Quran. So, so yeah, listen to what I'm saying. So if they're, they're ants speaking, the Quran, so why are you mentioning the Quran? Because if they're ants speaking, they're Arab. It's gone into the Quran because the Arab. The, 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 the challenge of you the, 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 cha yeah, no, the challenge of oh, yeah. producing ayah like this means the linguistics has to be reproduced. Yeah. So therefore, if you're seeing the, now, no, but if you're seeing, for example, the ants speaking and they're in the Quran, yeah. that the Arabic is then on par with the Arabic if, in the rest of the is, Quran. Because you just said that the ants wrote the Quran. No, 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 no. That's because what the, I'm the, Solomon spoke to the ants. That the, 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 the ants are all of a sudden the author of the Quran. But no, 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 logic, no. I'm not saying that. They're said, no, I'm not yeah. saying that they're author. I'm saying. Your no, but this is, is it, Robert? This is what I'm I, saying. I don't understand the question. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying produce an ayah like this. So if you have, for example, the ants speaking, I can get the verse in the, the Quran. Ants speaking, so said it in the and English. it's in the Quran. That means their linguistics matches that of the, the Quran. So therefore, the ants could then look up create an iron because you've got the, them speaking so therefore what is the difference between what you're reading for no, them no, no. in the Arabic as to the rest of the Quran are you saying because of the, the, the speech of the ants in the oh, wow. right. yeah but how is that but different from the rest the logic of the Quran behind it now, but that's, how is it the logic behind yeah. it now yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. because the whole Arabic right. is like for example if I read the ayah to someone but they didn't know who it was ants speaking they would hear the linguistics it was in the and Quran. understand, oh, it's in, sy like, in sync with the rest of the, the rhythm and the, of the Quran. Okay. But then this is the ant speaking, for example. Okay. So how then, if the can is producing ayah, how do you differentiate what, in what they said and the rest? Because if you didn't know it was, if I read the ayah, right. just read out what they said, you would think it's in the same eloquence as the rest of the Quran. Does that make sense? So were the ants so your point that, honestly. Because the, the challenge he said, so the, the, the argument was the Quran is a li the linguistics was but, era, people couldn't meet the challenge. Yeah. So the Quran says bring a an ayah, a single ayah like this. Right. So I'm saying in the verse where Solomon is, I think here over here is the ant speaking. That is within an ayah. So therefore, what, how then you should be able, how then do you distinguish what they are saying? between that and the rest of the Quran. Which we have to distinguish. In, 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 because in terms of eloquence, right. because the Quran challenge of reproducing something like right, this right. has to have some Just sort you, of I mean, I mean, I mean, look, are you saying because the ants are quoted in the Quran, mm. that their speech, they've got speech which matches the eloquence of, because it's inserted into the Quran? Yes. I mean, it's just like, for example, like you have... The Bible. The Bible came out hundreds of years before. Yeah, so I've got two conversations going. Yeah, so the New Testament, the New Testament. Just because something like, for example, you've got Moses being quoted in the, in the Quran, mm. Isa and vice versa, yeah. other people, Jesus, Moses, um, whoever it is that's quoted in the Quran, Mary as well. Yeah. Um, because their speech is inserted in the Quran. I mean, that's. How do I word this? Because that's, that's what essentially my point is. Because if, let's say you didn't know who the speaker was, but I recited that verse to someone, and they can say, wow, that is very eloquent. So therefore, by default, that speech in the Quran is then on par with. Yeah. You wouldn't say actually that's from a human, and then this ayah is yeah. from Allah. But if you look, say for example, now you've got you've got Allah speaking, right? Allah is saying whatever Allah may say, and then he quotes somebody else, right? So his the the the, the um, words of somebody else are inserted. It doesn't it doesn't mean that that person's eloquence matches Allah's because their speech has been inserted in between. What Allah has said. Do you see it? Like Allah is saying, and then there's a verse that perhaps rhymes with what Allah said from what Mary said. Yeah. And then Allah continues to speak after that. Right. It doesn't mean that elo the eloquence Mary matches the eloquence of Allah because Allah has quoted her and it like rhymes or is in sync with what he said. It doesn't mean she's as eloquent as God. Do you get it? But then that would, I, I guess, essentially come to the whole point of the bring a verse of surah like this. Because then what is the actual criteria that the person? Well, you said none of the Arabs 
that can meet that challenge. So then what, so for example, you've discounted that and said, well, their adequacy wouldn't be the same. So then what would be the kind of check of actual criteria? I can't give you the list. I can't give you the list. Of top of my head. I don't. But then that may be one of the reasons why no one attempted to do it, because there wasn't a set criteria, because that in and for itself, unless we know what the criteria exactly is, we can't say, well, because they didn't meet the challenge, they weren't able to do it. Unless we know what the criteria is. That can be a discussion for another time. That's not something I've deep. Yeah, no, that's fine. But that is, that's essentially where my, my argument was going. But we've I, can't, had I, can't, I can't debate that. Not, not, no, that's fine. Deep, so no, no, that's no, fine. I mean, I mean I it, we can, do, can maybe I mean, go away, look into it. And it. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's a, it's a bit of a tangent of what I was saying. But it's essentially what the original point was just in terms of, if, because you brought the question about Paul. So obviously I said, well, he was validated by the apostles. Wait, when you say validated, this, this is actually, I'm, I'm not, this is not dispute, this is genuine inquiry. Yeah. Where, whereabouts did they validate? What did they say? Never if you could provide the verse, no. the, the book. Remember when you said you got mentioned the cloud? What's, what's the point that you're making from right. he, he must have seen it? What, what right. are you trying to say? No. Right, the Warwicker, yeah. the, um, I'm talking about the Warwicker that um, Khadija took Mohammed to go and see to tell him what had happened to Mohammed. Yeah? That Warwicker, and that was a Warwicker that said that it was Gabriel. Yes? I don't know what he keeps on talking about. Right. With, but, it, I didn't know there was two but, Warwickers. Okay, so when, uh, you're, you're, saying, but you're, saying, you're saying about no, Galatians. It's a, different, it's a different incident. When you're saying about Galatians. Warwicker and Khadija were also the first cousins first cousin twice removed from, of Muhammad. Their paternal grandmother, uh, Muhammad. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was, it was Warwicker that said that it was Gabriel. Well, what's, what the, what's the point the, you're trying the, to arrive at? The angel did not reveal himself as so Gabriel, about, well, about which, which, which is what the brother said. He, the, the angel did not say, I am Gabriel, which would be consistent with the Bible, right. where he did reveal but who you're, he was. You're saying across all hadith literature, and all, as, I, as I mentioned, um, in, in the hadith where the, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is sitting in the gathering like and his, his companions are with him and a man walks in and he's, he's, he's clothed in very white clothing and he's got very dark hair and he comes in and he asks the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, questions. British. He asks him questions like, um, about the religion and then the, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, um, says to uh, the companions, do you know, he inquires, I say, do, you, do you know who that was? And then he said it was Gabriel who came to teach you the religion. Okay. So that's one example. Well, saying it was Gabriel. Well, no, listen to what and I'm then, saying. Yeah, that was a long time after, though. It wasn't. It, he, he'd already been named by Warwick. So yeah, Satan would go along with that. Satan said, "Yeah, oh, they think I'm Gabriel. Okay, I'm Gabriel." That's, that's, well, I'm talking about when he first, the first person to ever say that it was Gabriel was not the angel, was not Muhammad, was not Khadija. It was Warwick who wasn't even there. That's a fact. There's not the Islamic sources don't deny that. Right. So, hold up, so, so, so listen to what I'm saying. So the point where I'm getting at, uh, Sorry. Paul. Go on. Yeah, go on. Yeah, so I guess I'll just read it all in context. So it says, then after 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem, this time with Barnabas. I took Titus along also. I went in response to a revelation, a meeting privately with the esteemed, those esteemed as leaders. I presented to them the gospel that I preach among the Gentiles. I wanted to be sure that I was not running and had not been running my race in vain. Yet not even Titus, who was with me, was compelled to be circumcised even though he was Greek. This matter arose because some false believers had infiltrated our ranks to spy on the freedom we have in Jesus Christ to make us slaves. We did not give into them for a moment so that the truth of their gospel might be preserved for you. For those who were held in high esteem, whatever they were, make no mistakes different to me. God does not show favoritism. They added nothing to my message. On the contrary, they recognized that I had been entrusted with the task of preaching the gospel to the un uncircumcised, just as Peter had been, the, had been to the circumcised. For God, who was at the work in Peter as an apostle to the circumcised, was also at work in me as an apostle to the Gentiles. James, Cephas, John, those esteemed as pillars gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship when they recognized the grace given to me. 
Yeah. So this is how we say, well, we'll where, validate where, where Paul. Where was this written? Uh, this is in Galatians. Galatians, Galatians but this is, this is Paul's writings, isn't it? Yep. Paul's writings, because he, he wrote let, like Corinthians, Galatians, yeah. there were letters from him to his congregation. So of course, he's going he, to, we can say he claimed. So what are you saying? That, he, he, it, claimed, he claimed approval. Are you saying that he's lying? Yes. Are you saying the Prophet Muhammad is lying? No, I've never said he's lying. I said he's been deceived by the devil. I've never said he was lying. Yeah, but then I means... don't believe that. See, this is where Islam get us mistaken. We, the whole point, what I'm trying to say is this: that it was not the angel Gabriel. It was a, it was a fallen angel. I don't believe that Muhammad just come out with some rubbish and, and just made up a lie like that. But in fact, I will go to far to say I believe that he was an honest guy who the, the people around him would believe if Satan deceived him and. He was deceived by a fallen angel. 100%. Satan, Satan came in the form of Gabriel. Huh? Satan came in the form of Gabriel. Satan came in the form of, form of the angel of light. Yeah, but, just, wait, but, but that's why I said to you. But that's why I said to you. And even when I, but this is why I said to you. He can come as an angel of light. Yes. Because I asked him the question. That's why I asked you the question. How do we know the angel was Gabriel? Because he said Satan wouldn't come as Gabriel. And I said, how do you know that was Gabriel? In the Bible, for example, it says Gabriel introduced himself. Don't go wrong. So all we know is an angel, an angel, because the Bible says an angel can bear. Same time, Gabriel met him when he was a child. When he, when it was, uh, uh, did he say I am Gabriel? He didn't say I am Gabriel, but it was instant where he was opening his chest, he took his spirit out and put it back in. And then even when obviously the cave situation where actually Gabriel came to him did the whole talk and the uh, read whatnot. No, but even if the prophet didn't recognize that was Gabriel, what if I was we were speaking about earlier, told him the same angel that came to you, he didn't name Gabriel, so as we know but now he doesn't know who it is. But he said the same angel that came to you is the same angel that came to Moses in the past. That's not full answer, I, I agree with you, hundred percent. No one yes. Gabriel was an angel, for all we know it could have been anyone. Exactly. Hundred percent. But the fact that we know the, um, shit, the beast, I can't I can't I can't believe you are you. Mm -hmm. Until you have well, me telling you, yes, exactly. of course, on the same page, 100%. But Iblis himself, I don't think he's got the power to imitate Gabriel. Because Allah, not Gabriel, because we don't know, we haven't given him okay, criteria. Okay, okay, he's Joseph's that it was Gabriel. Okay, imitate angel, let's say angels. Right. Okay, yeah, okay. Angel. Okay. Right, so now we go to the angel. All right. He bought him a Bible verse, which, which is uh, in 2 Corinthians, and I'll read it again because you can write it. Thank you. So the claim is that it wasn't Gabriel that came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The claim was it was the devil. That's what you guys are trying to say, right? Well, you were saying, well, you get, you were saying that's in terms of we we, we don't we're trying to establish how do we know? Okay. So without that's what we believe. But I'm not trying to make that assertion. We're just trying to go through. Sort of, so what you believe, you believe, you're saying you believe it's a, a, a devil? It right? could be a jinn. We don't know. Mm. Yeah. But I'm just saying, let's start off with actually just the criteria first. Well, then, when you look at the, what the Quran is and the prophecies of the Prophet and the, well, the, the things that occurred in his life, no jinn, no none of creation can orchestrate things. Like, for example, saying this will happen. Like when the Romans were defeated. Yeah, the Romans were defeated. They can't, they can't deal with the future. They can't manipulate the future. future. I just read him the verse and then I'll... That's how right. that's so it just says, um, and this is uh, Corinthians, so it says, For such men and false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles, as apostles of Christ, and no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light, so it's no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. But he can, so, he can say that, so, so yeah. that nobody, so they hearken to his message only and no one after him. Because he wants that. Well, but problem. then that's why I feel to Mormonism. Because he apparently saw an angel of, of light, a good angel, that said good things. So I'm not even just using Christianity, but like the testimony of other people who have claimed to receive but just, divine inspiration. But we can just say inspiration. We just say, okay, I, I see your point. I see your point. I'm just kind of what you're saying and trying to yeah, yeah, jump in and, and just get my say. I, 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 I see your point. And it's a fair point. It's a fair point. Yeah, yeah. 
Fair point. Fair point. Um, what I'm saying is that Paul, obviously, he's come with whatever he's come with. We, I mean, you, you, you don't believe in the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a prophet. We don't believe Paul was an authentic um, apostle of Jesus. Right? So I can say, well, what he's writing about, whoever comes after me is a false prophet. I can say, well, of course he would say that. Of course he would say that because he wants people to, to believe he's the guy, isn't it? Like, what he's coming with is, is, is the truth which needs to be followed and what comes after it is, is uh, false. Yeah. Well, it's more appealing to the fact that people believe that he didn't have to, he doesn't have to specifically say the angel, the devil can come as an angel of light. So it's then showing, highlighting people that, because people will automatically presume that an angel itself must be good. But we're saying, well, actually the devil can disguise himself. Because if we, again, appeal to Mormonism, let's just say, we don't know what he saw. Maybe he saw a jinn, but it appeared to him as an angel of goodness. But then we can say the same with Paul. Paul, 